in MASK we have 17 different study groups which concentrate on a different toxicity or a different psychological problem or a different supportive care need. But of course the patients don't only get one toxicity, the patients get lots of toxicities. So we've done some work that we've presented at MASK previously looking at the links between toxicities and they tend to cluster together. And um, so it is actually true that that you know, the patient that you, I might be very interested in mucositis, but I can't just talk about mucositis because if a patient comes to see me and says, I had, you know, I say, what, what happened when you had your chemotherapy? And they tell me all these different toxicities. And I say, well, I'm only interested in the mucositis. That's really actually appalling. So I am actually quite interested in, in nausea and vomiting as well. And we, again, MASK produces the best guidelines in the world for the management of uh, nausea and vomiting but they're not always completely implemented. And um, one of the things, the ways I've personally been involved is that I've done some studies in the Asia Pacific looking at the differences in um, use of guidelines across the Asia Pacific in the different countries because um, we give chemotherapy in different ways in different countries and we treat nausea and vomiting differently in different countries. And so not every patient has the same efficacy of their anti-nauseants.